Hello dear friends, before going to the video, please subscribe our channel for more new videos and information. Kendall folk pop artist Year of the Cat has released a new single. Holly Lovelady's most recent single follows her previous releases Oriane and A Spaceman Came Traveling, which accumulated a total of 140,000 Spotify streams, with her music reaching airwaves on various BBC network shows. Holly is back with her new single, a reimagining of Al Stewart's original Year of the Cat, which was released in 1976. Holly rewrote the song, recreating the iconic piano sequence and adding her own verses and twist of her signature ghostly, spiritual mysticism to the instrumentation, enamored by the beauty of the piano, references to Casablanca, and the cat referring to the twelfth year in Vietnamese astrology. By replacing the original's film references with characters from the TV show Peaky Blinders, the track is made more relevant. Holly Co wrote the song with Bob McKenzie, Motor Museum. It was produced by Matt Taylor, and it was mixed and mastered by Brian Shale Brightester. Holly was drawn to the original's mysticism and astrological significance in Year of the Cat because it represents herself as an artist who captures an outworldly experience, with one foot in the real world and one in the unknown, which not many artists seek to capture. Holly was determined in this reimagining to bring the song up to date with a modern audience while preserving the emotions and elements of the historic track. I want to take people on this journey of love, magic, astrological fate, being swept up by someone so mysterious that you lose track of time and space. Holly, who has been influenced by Kate Bush, Fleetwood Mac, and Don McLean, is ready to captivate audiences with her enchanting vocals and beautiful lyricism. Holly is set to make a big artistic impact in 2023 with a music tour in Ireland beginning in April at Smock Alley Theatre in Dublin, as well as her debut in the film The Freaks of Fancy, which will be released this summer. She will also be performing in the One Woolland musical Topless at the Edinburgh Festival Fringe in August.